basically by the end of the tutorial you'll have a signature pretty much close to this alright so you wanna go to file new and then just have yours like mine or whatever you like to have it so I'm gonna have have it 400 by 200 so just click OK Okay, now you're going to add your render. I'm going to use Iron Man. In here, you need to press Control T. And then you can just scale it down. Or you can go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Like that. So just apply the transformation. Okay, now we're going to add just a regular background, just one that you think will work. So I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so when your render disappears, just grab it and drag it to the top, just like that, and then it should appear. Just make sure you select your other layer, so that way you can move it around like this to add it and make it look the way you want it to. I'm going to add some C4Ds to really make the signature cool. So I'm going to use this one. Move it around somewhere you'd like it to be, and then set the opacity or whatever you call it at 61. All right, I'm gonna have another C4D. <coughs> Just gonna add it right there. Move it around that way. Alright, let's have it at 52. So I'm gonna have it at 52. And then... I'm gonna use one more C for D. So I'm just gonna scale this one down a little bit. To try and just... Yeah, like that. So I'm gonna apply the transformation. Then again, you want to go to the opacity, opacity something, whatever, and I'm gonna make it 25 for that one. Okay. So that's all the C4Ds I'm gonna add to it. Now you're gonna want to duplicate your render four times. So, one, two, three, and four. Alright, go back to your original one, the one that doesn't say copy, and now we're just gonna start blurring the image a little bit to make it a little bit cool. You don't have to blur it, it's just I choose to blur it. So you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you want to set it to about uh, I'm going to go with 35. And go to the one right above that, and go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And make sure the angle is at 40 degrees. And I'm going to have the distance. You want the distance pretty far if you want it to look kind of good. Alright, so I'm going to have it at 200. Now we're just going to start adding some little blurs. So, do the one right above that. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, set it to about two, and then go to copy three, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and set it to a 1.5. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, set it to 1.5. Okay, so now you want to add a new layer. And then you're going to want to fill it with whatever color you want. So I'm just going to use that color as a mask. And you're just going to want to fill it all in. You want to go to opacity and put it down to about 40% and then change it from normal and then change it to soft light. Just like that. Alright. So now what we're going to do is add a new layer. Make sure it's right under the last layer you just did. And you want to use the brush tool. Make sure it's black. Set it to about 30 opacity and flow to about 30. Now all I'm going to do is just I'm going to go around the edges like this and get a little more depth. And if you ever mess up, just delete the layer and just make a new one. See, I kind of darkened it too much right there, so all I'm going to do is delete it and just create a new one and start doing it all over again. Okay, so basically just like that. Now you're going to add another layer. And you're going to do this select tool or whatever. And you're going to select your entire image. And you're going to go to filter or select modify border. Now you can set it to four or five. I'm going to have it at five. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your brush tool. So click on your brush tool. And this time, set the opacity all the way back up to 100 and the flow all the way back to 100. So now, all you want to gonna do is just basically color on the little dashes right there all the way around with the black. And then just deselect it. And there's your border. Now basically what we're going to do next is we're going to add some text. So add some text. Have the text whatever color. I'm going to have it white. Just pretty basic. Okay, you can basically just mess around with it, do whatever. I'm going to add a little blur to it. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Just click OK if that pops up. Okay. I don't know why I did that. So let's set it to... I'm going to have it at 3. Okay. And then when you're all done, you can just change whatever you don't like. If you don't like the blurs, change it to whatever. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, and I hope it helped you. Hope I didn't bore you too much, and I hope you learned something new.